basically it's like the, the short time altogether trying to get out of something, an essence. So you're obviously working on your, your instinct. The way I take pictures, I mean, I have one, I have a small camera. I'm very inconspicuous. I, I try to. I don't want to be heavy. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to have the burden. I don't want to make the difference between. Oh, now I go out and I take pictures. Like for me, it's sort of a flow. For me to come here to try to understand um, who are the Russians and their their connection between you know between the past and the future and uh, um, so we'll see what's gonna. So I had that fascination and that story in my mind, and I think maybe that's why I chose to do a portrait of um, younger generation um, in their homes and. Um, um, mix it with the uh, uh, urban landscape. Because then when you have this picture, these people, they're really uh, themselves fully and they reenact themselves. Not reenact, they act themselves, you know, it's like uh, I'm waiting my friend on the metro station, you know, and then uh, and more flashes, more I wait my friend for the metro station, in the metro station. So it's, it's, uh, the, it's that thing, you know, without flashes, I would be someone's naked picture. It's not, I'm taking picture, you see the flash, you know, and they, they, they pump the volume of what they are and what they were doing, so become more real than real. And it actually is real, you saw it, it did happen, it's happening. That's why I need the flashes. It would be, it's the presence of the, of the stands, it's all together, you know. It's me walking in, moving the flash, and the subject doesn't go away. I just move the flash, you know, I'm pointing better. It's, it's like I'm an actor too, in a way. Это совершенно три разные подхода к картинке, к визуализации, к отношению. И это три совершенно разных пары глаз. When you are a portrait photographer, it depends about how you interfere with the with the subject, how you what kind of question do you ask them? And um, as I said, I, I asked them a lot of questions about their childhood, about their past, about the way they grow up, and uh, people, they love to share their stories. And after some time, they become easy, and um, I can, you know, take the portrait I want.
so I chose this movie inspiration. I mean, I chose this uh, which is this, I walk around Moscow, which sort of it came out of this sentence, okay, I'm going to walk around Moscow. So, so I chose this in order to, in a way to guide me, but also to limit me and a little bit to help me to find maybe the heaven, sort of define what I'm going to do. I think the way it works for me is I'm looking for some, I mean, it, it comes out of the reality. It's not necessarily me. I'm not creating any pictures. I'm not, I mean, of course, I'm looking for something. And now I had a kind of almost had a list of things I was looking for, which was a very, very simple list. But I'm also, I mean, the, the joy of photography for me is that I go around and I, I find something. I have an um, obsession with buildings because I live in one of them myself um, for almost 18 years. Uh, it's kind of like an apartment block and where uh, many people with different backgrounds and different stories uh, live uh, on, on, under the same roof. And for me it fascinates me that uh, there are some places that you're um, life story uh, mingle with each other we, without you noticing it. Днем утром они снимают, и второй половине дня они собираются в каком-то публичном пространстве и там обсуждают свою работу, они печатают работу, мы выбираем вместе фотографии, и к концу второй недели получается выставка. It's a very busy city, it's very crowded, but it's quite a quiet city. You don't hear much sound and people, they don't talk a lot. You don't hear lots of stories. People, they, I think they swallow many things uh, within them, themselves and they are not very peer, talkative people. So they, they I guess, they um, keep their stories for themselves. So that's why maybe my project, it's hidden stories, it's, it's a silent uh, conversation and um, I, I wanted to um, take a quote from each people that I took their portrait, but in the end I decided not to do that. Maybe the power is their silence and you have to guess what they're trying to say with their eyes. It's like a jam session, uh, you know, you are a player, you know really well your instrument, you go on stage and uh, you start with the note and you see which kind of uh, improvisation you get out. Uh, so that's what it is for me, Left Lab. <laughs>